Good morning, Lorraine here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is about aging gracefully with dignity, with a bit of fun, with makeup and skin care and hair care and lifestyle, and that's what we're all about here today. So uh, I'm going to begin my day, as I always do, with a glass of warm water and lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. So cheers. I hope you'll stay with me today. First of all, I'm going to show you my scent of the day, which is Coty Vanilla Musk. This has been around for quite a while. It's very affordable. It has four notes, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. And it's a cozy, warm vanilla fragrance with a sandalwood dry down. Just perfect for a cold winter's day. And that's my SOTD. This video today is about, it's for and about a special group of women who maybe in their older years don't wear makeup anymore. Maybe they used to wear makeup or maybe they never wore makeup. But now you're retired, you don't go out too much, especially in these COVID times, and you just either don't bother or you have lost interest or for whatever reason. But I'm here to show you a way that you can begin to reintroduce makeup into your life if you want to. You're beautiful without makeup. We are all beautiful without makeup, let's face it. But I find, and that's me, because it may not be the same for you, that makeup just makes me feel a bit more put together, a bit more glamorous, a bit more ready to face on the challenges of the day. And so I'm going to show you a very minimal makeup look, which is very affordable. It's very simple. There's only five products involved. So let's begin. First of all, I'm going to start with, uh, with my eyes. I'm going to put a bit of eyeshadow on. And this one is by Wet n Wild. It's the um, quad. What do they call this? And this is called Walking on Eggshells. This is still available. It's been around for quite a while. It might have a bit of a different packaging now. But uh, this is very nice, neutral colors. There's um, f uh, four, three shimmers and one matte. So I'm going to put this on all over my lid. Now, what you, what you will need is a few brushes to start if you don't have any. So you would need a brush, something like this, to apply makeup, to pat it onto the lid. Now, first of all, I must say I have prepared my skin for makeup as I do every morning. I've cleansed, I've applied my vitamin C serum and my moisturizer and sunscreen. We're going to be experimenting today with two different kinds of powder foundation. And when you're using powder foundation, the skin must be completely dry, absolutely dry. Otherwise, it's guaranteed it's going to cake, it's going to blotch, it's going to be a big mess. So I let my sunscreen dry for a good, well, I would say half an hour really. So my skin is very dry now. So I've applied this makeup now. If you want to, you could also put a little bit of the shimmer in the middle, which is what I like to do, but you don't have to. And I like applying shimmers with my fingers because I don't know if it's because of the texture, but it just seems to cling better to my eyelids. So that just gives a little bit of a shimmer. Yeah, I mean, what is makeup all about anyway? I guess when we're teenagers, maybe we all are kind of curious and we experiment with it. And as we go into the workplace, and I guess I can only speak for myself because not every woman wears makeup. But uh, for myself, I always, I very rarely ever went out of the house without makeup, for sure. And so I would wear a pretty... Not, not a lot of makeup, but just enough because I really wanted a natural look. I didn't want it to look as if, oh my, she's wearing a lot of makeup because we've certainly known uh, women like that. And I, I don't find that very, that attractive, to be honest. 
Uh, but anyway, so we're going to carry on now with our little uh, minimal makeup look. And the next is going to be the, um, the foundations. So I have two today. I have an It Celebration powder foundation. And this is a high-end foundation. It's about $46. I have used this a lot over the last 10 years. I've probably bought, this might be my fourth one. I just bought this one actually. And it's color light. It's a full coverage foundation. And we're going to compare it with this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder foundation. And I'm going to do one side of my face with the NYX and the other side with the IT foundation. And we're gonna just do a comparison. And this color is alabaster. The colors are quite similar. So what I will do is I'll read the information about them from the box. So we're gonna start with the IT foundation. So the IT foundation is described as full coverage, anti-aging, hydrating, Power powder foundation developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists clinically tested and it's always been my experience with this foundation that it really is very beautiful a full coverage I mean you can build it up I'm not necessarily looking for a full coverage I really don't need to cover every single sunspot or blemish on my skin I'm okay with a natural look really so there's the color and I have this beautiful foundation but brush from Hulu brushes and you can find these on Lady Makeup. This one is about five dollars and it's very dense and and you will need a, a brush of some kind to apply this foundation. So I'm just going to swirl it around in there and we're going to apply it on the left side. So what I like to do, so I'm just going to start up here and um, it's going on nice and smoothly because my skin is completely dry yeah it really does um, have a beautiful smooth texture it feels light on the skin the color if you have a coloring like mine is perfect so there we have about half my face done with the uh, the it celebration powder foundation and I do like the look of that now we'll put this one put that one aside for now and we'll go with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And what it is described <clears throat> as is, this long-lasting powder foundation is a beauty boss. It delivers breathable coverage you can build seamlessly and a matte finish that's all business. So they essentially really have the same claims pretty much. And this one is color alabaster, and it's $16 as compared to $46 for the other one. So let's see how this one applies. And again, you're going to take your foundation brush. And I find this one is... I find this one a little bit, um, I don't know, uh, a bit more dense. It's not as light. It, it kind of goes on heavier initially. That's what I find with this one, which is, is not was not a problem because I had to dip quite often into the uh, IT foundation. But this one I won't have to, I don't think. And I just find that that gives just as nice a finish I would say it's certainly no uh, 
obvious difference. So that's what we're doing for the foundation. And that's all you would need. So no must, no fuss with any liquid foundations. Powder foundations are, once you get used to using them, they are just, you know, two minutes and you're out the door. So the next thing you might want to do, and again, this is individual because some people have beautifully shaped brows, but I would like a little bit of brow color. So I'm using this e.l.f. brow pencil. And e.l.f. makes wonderful products, very affordable. This one has a spoolie on the end of it as well. And it comes, I think this comes in about four or five different colors. So pick a color, this one is taupe and pick a color that is the closest to your eyebrows. This has quite a soft, thick lead. So it just glides on very easily. And then you want to bring, out, bring it out a little bit there. And I find that's a very nice natural look. So I found that the first year of COVID, which was 2020, and of course I have been retired for many years, but um, the first year of COVID, when I hardly went out and seldom had visitors, I kind of stopped wearing makeup. And I felt that that was not really a good sign for me. I think I, think I was a little depressed because I just, I didn't feel as good about myself. I just didn't. So eventually I got back to it. Now I put on a full face every single day. This kind of a, a small application of only five products for me would be called a, um, a small face. And this might be what I would wear at home or if I'm in a hurry for something, just very minimal products. Now, so there are the brows, so they're just a little bit darkened, a little bit shaped. And if you wanted to smooth them down with the spoolie, of course, that's what it's for. And that's a very nice natural look. And I find with this brow pencil, I'm going to see if it can double as a bit of an eyeliner. I, partic I do like to line, especially under my eyes. I just find it gives it a bit more definition. My eyes are not big anyway, and so it gives it a bit more uh, of an outline. And But I just like a little shading. I don't like a big dark line. And see, that seems to be working. So you can do double duty with this. And of course, once you get used to a routine, you can uh, do it very quickly. So that, that helps a little bit, eh? So I just, you know, if you don't wear any makeup and you used to enjoy makeup, well, why not go back and, you know, I guess we always wore makeup for other people because we were always out. We were always in the workforce and we were always at the office or wherever we were. But um, I just kind of wear it for myself now. <laughs> and uh, I like that. I have to admit, the formula of this does not lend itself that well to outlining the, uh, to use as an eyeliner, I have to say. It's a bit too much work, so maybe not. So if you wanted to, then you'd have to add a sixth product and buy an eyeliner, I guess. Okay, so next we are going to apply mascara. Now here's a mascara that has been around forever. Maybelline Great Lash. It's a very simple mascara. What I like about it is that it has a small brush and this gives you really good control. See, that's a very nice small brush. So you're going to go right to the base of the lashes and wiggle the brush a little bit to make sure that the product is getting onto the lashes. 
and then you just coat your eyelashes. I find that mascara, mascara and lipstick to me are the absolute necessities. They are the desert island necessities in my opinion. Mascara really um, opens up the eyes. I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference. It's amazing. And this mascara, it's just, it's just so simple. It has, it, it's not too wet. It's not too dry. I don't know. It's pretty hard to beat and it's very affordable. So I do encourage ladies to put on a bit of makeup. You might be surprised. You might realize, you know, that you do feel a little more energetic and a, a little prettier and a little, ener I don't know, just feel better. It works for me and uh, I just encourage you. And, and it's fun. It's, it's, it can be grow in, into a, a fun time of trying new products and new techniques if you want to. So there's the mascara. And then the final product is going to be lipstick. And uh, e.l.f. has some wonderful lipsticks. They This is called Seriously Satin, and it does have a nice satin finish. So this color is, let me see what this color is, if I can even read it. Oh, I can't even read it. But there are many colors on the e.l.f. website, and again, e.l.f. cosmetics are, are very affordable. It has um it has a bit of a dry type of texture, but it's not sticky and it's not um it feels good on the lips, it does. And it, it certainly does have a, a nice satin finish. I like this. Now the thing is with this, this you can double as a blush. And again you will need a blush brush. The one I have is wet and wild. And Wet n Wild does have some lovely brushes, and I think you can even get sets of brushes. So this is going to be used as a cream blush. So what I like to do is just go right on top of this cheekbone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep it up into the temple with just light, just apply it lightly at first because you can always build it up. If you put too much on at first it's difficult to tone it down. Now this is applying very nicely over the uh, foundation. And this just gives you a little, a little touch of color. And that works well. So you're using your lipstick as blush. Oops. Yeah. Um, yeah, makeup is fun. And I like a, a look that simply highlights your own natural beauty. That That's what we're trying to do here. We're not trying to create, I mean, you can create a dramatic look and uh, anytime. But, um, but my preference is just to keep a natural look. Okay, I'm going to do my hair and I'll be right back. In comparing the two powder foundations, I honestly can't see a big difference. They both lay on the skin very nicely. They're both comfortable. They feel light. 
Uh, they both have a very nice matte finish. In fact, I would say the NYX maybe has more of a satin finish, but to me, they are both equally beautiful. Um, take your pick, really. And I also realized that in the absence of an eyeliner under my eyes, I put a little bit of um, mascara on the lower lashes, and that helps to define the eyes as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really encourage you to just try putting on a few little things every day and see if it makes a difference to how you feel. So again, consider subscribing and uh, give this video a thumbs up, and I certainly look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.